What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome back to my rise to fame. So here we are now, a third of the way for our first league season at FC Lati. And uh, last time I saw you, of course, we finished the cup and uh, we were going into the first third of the season. Optimistic, I mean, I was, I was realistic with my chances as well. You know, I emphasised how we'd pretty much changed the whole starting 11 of the team and we couldn't expect to gel instantly. So, you know, that was, it was about approaching... You know, this further the season in the right way, you know, about trying to get the results, trying to get the team gelled as quick as we could, because it's not going to happen overnight, but it shouldn't take, you know, five, six months into the season for it to completely click. So uh, I think best place to start is we're going to jump into the league table with FC Lati. So we currently find ourselves eighth and uh, it's not bad. You know, actually, being brutally honest, it's not bad. I mean, it looks worse because there aren't many teams in this league, which means we're currently only four places above the relegation zone. And again, because um, it's quite tight at the bottom, we are currently only five place, five points off the team bottom of the table. So it's not looking great, but it's where the board wanted us to finish. So if we were to finish the season here, the board would be, would be relatively happy. You know, obviously, they, they, we could have got more, but they're not expecting more. So... I'm not particularly happy with this league position. I know we've got the players. I know we've signed some quality players, which are better than we're currently playing. But we're currently going through a transitional period. And it's important that we don't... Uh, first of all, it's important that we keep our job. And to do that, we need to pull in the performances that emphasize that we can actually do the job here. And that's what we're doing so far. You know, we're getting the points and we're currently in a decent enough position. And even, you know, I, I spoke about how many points we're away from 12th. You know, if we look five points up, from where we currently are, we are we could easily go to up to fifth. You know, in FC Inter are only three points away from us, and Honka up in fourth, which is, I believe, a European spot. Um, let me just double check that. Uh, top, three, it should be top four teams because um, where where are we? I can't. It's I can't see it for some reason. But I believe top four teams are Europe because. Um, of course, with Manchester United save, I, I know I pretty much have to continuously look at what sort of, uh, you know, who gets what. And I, from what I remember, Finland are a team that gets one team in the third, in the second qualifying phase, and three teams in the Europa League first qualifying phase. So, you know, fourth is European spot, and we're not that far off that. So, you know, depending on the second third of the season, you know, the, the more important middle stage of the season, it could depend on where we set ourselves up. You know, if we have a very strong middle period here, we could be pushing up into these European spots. If we have a weak period, we could be looking maybe further back. You know, we don't want to be looking towards relegation, but if we just have another solid mid, mid spell, we could find ourselves still with a chance of getting European football next season, which would be an incredible achievement for us in such a short space of time. But yeah, let's go for our fixtures now and talk about what has happened over the time. So I left you in the um, after the after we were knocked out of the cup final, or just before the HJK game, or the cup quarterfinals. You're saying after that, uh, just before the HJK game. So to start off our career here in the league domestically, uh, we lost one 0 to, uh, to HJK, our closest rivals, our our fiercest rivals. So obviously not the best way to start off in the league. Uh, but HJK are a very strong team. I, 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 and I mentioned this previously. To me, they're the benchmark for us. They're the, they're the people that we need to compare ourselves to. If we can better HJK, then I say we're probably one of the best teams, or if not the best team, currently in Finland. And uh, it was just HJK overpowered us. They were a lot more dominant. They didn't really look too clinical up front. But, you know, if you score in the 15th minute, as they did, you know, you don't really need to possess that much of a threat later on in the game. You know, they only had three shots on target, but they scored one early on, which meant it wasn't really a problem that they kept missing. And again, we didn't really offer too much of a threat. Um, the front three of Ammo, Gallon and Stockton didn't really look too threatening throughout the whole match. After that, we returned back into cup football. Uh, you know, we found a little bit of success earlier on, getting two wins in a row in, in our in our um, cup. And in fact, it was the last time we won was back in January. So it had been three months since we'd won. Not that many games, though, really, if you look at it. But it was nice to get another win under our belt. We played uh, Kappa. I, don't, I know it's not pronounced like that for a fact because the dot's above the A's. But that's how I'm going to pronounce it. We beat them in the sixth round of the Suomen Cup. Uh, again, I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, Jamie Allen putting in a magnificent performance here, scoring in the 52nd minute, but also contributing to the goal and overall just looking really dominant in the middle of the pitch and helping us putting a winning performance. Uh, match stats-wise, you can see off the basing match stats that, in fact, it was probably 
a little tighter than the two 0 scoreline would reflect. But it was the I say it was the quality of Jamie Allen and a little bit of Gallon as well, of course, scoring the first goal, which helped um, propel us towards a um, towards a better result. And as well, you can you can't not notice the two centre backs of um, Arthur Worthy and Borthwick Jackson, who've both put in great performances to help limit uh, Kappa to the long shots, which is what most of their shots were. There weren't many threatening highlights from them. So, after that, we won our first game in the league, which was extremely good. Uh, in another away affair, um, you know, we, it was important that we got our first win of the season under our belt as quick as we could. And a 48th minute sending off from Jaro's uh, Susak, that just helped us. You know, once that man got sent off, it was we were on our way. We started playing a lot better. You know, we looked a lot more dominant, really threatening going forward with that man advantage. And uh, Gala, Gala pull us underway in the 59th minute with a penalty. Both with Jackson got one from a corner. And then Mattia Gallen just added um, salt to the wounds in a, a 92nd minute by, you know, making it 3-0. So a really good performance, you know, nice, dominant, big win, um, which is great. You know, great way to get our first league win of the season. Then we played uh, another cup match in the Thurman Cup seventh round, and we played IFK Mariham. Ham, I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. Currently ninth in the table. You know, not exactly a great team, so to lose to them 4-1 is very frustrating, and it was just a shocking performance, pretty much all around the pitch. Matai Gallen got one in the 87th minute, a goal for us, and that caused his rating to bump up. Jamie Allen as well did all he could in the centre of the park to try and propel the team forward and push the team forward and um, perform better. But, you know, his efforts were in vain. We were just beaten, and it was due to a really good attacking performance. You know, don't take anything away from um, Sadik, who scored four goals against us. But he was really helped out by the shocking defensive performance we put in. Not only by the back four, but also the midfield. Some of the midfielders in front of him, you know, his defensive midfielder didn't really offer much cover, which allowed chances to be created for Sadik to slot home. So... Really, really embarrassing defeat. 4-1. And in fact, that's our largest margin of victory since NYPA back in February. Back in early February. So, um, that's not good. But we'll get our revenge on that team later on. Don't worry. Uh, after that, FC Inter. We lost 2-0. You know, not a great performance. Uh, and FC Inter thoroughly deserved a 2-0 scoreline. In fact, they probably should have got more uh, if it wasn't for some good saves here and there and some poor shooting from them. So, let off lightly with that with that. Uh, two no scoreline there, and then FC Harker we played next in the league, and we lost to a 93rd minute goal. It's a real kick in the teeth to concede that late on in a game, but we can only blame ourselves at that point. You know, we we didn't deserve the win, so you know, getting a draw probably would have reflected the game um, better than the actual one 0 scoreline. But you know, nil nil, anything can happen. And they were pushing and they never gave up. And we just sort of, I think we thought we got the draw of the players, and I think they just got complacent a little bit. And as a result. 93rd minute winner for FC Hacker, and we're still looking for our second win of the season. But that for our second league win of the season. But that came against IFK. We're gonna have a look at some of these. Uh, we'll have a look at these goals, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll have a look at the goals. So we were sent away with a injury uh, with an own goal in the 16th minute, which um, like I say commenced the scoring for us. And IFK did put in a very good performance and probably deserved more than a. They probably deserved a draw minimum. You know, a win would probably have been even more reflective of how good they were in this game. But it was the fact that we took our chances in this match. And as you can see throughout the other games, we've not really had many chances. So for us, it's important that we take them when they come. And we did this game. Like I say, we were helped on the way with an own goal. Ammo with a good cross in into the mix. Uh, into the danger zone. Sorry, not in the mix. Um, there wasn't a big ball forward. But yeah, helping us on our way. They got one back. We're not going to really focus on this. Uh, we'll go to the uh, next highlight. If I think this is next highlight yeah so you know that helped us on that that wasn't really great back at 1-1 like i said we weren't really great in this match so at 1-1 i always thought ifk were going to be more likely or most likely to score next but uh it was another goal from us uh who was the goal scorer i can't remember um i think it was was it ammo i think ammo might have got the goal next let's have a let's have a look but anyway you know we're passing ball around playing ball forward and ammo out wide it they're probably not going to be him to score then played it to our right back ammo got the ball back in the box Playing it in the centre, and it was Jamie Allen actually coming from the edge of the box, making a little run inside, and Ammo saw him with tons of space, and we managed to power that one home, power it home. And then the 63rd minute, again 2 1, still not exactly a comfortable scoreline, definitely would have fought a draw, um, or would have accepted a draw uh, in this game after a hefty defeat earlier on in the season, but Stockton, uh, Stockton got, his, um, got himself another goal, 
I got himself another goal this year and um, got himself his first league goal of the season, I believe, helping us win the game 3-1. And that gave us a cushion we needed for the rest of the game to sort of just sit back and say, yeah, we've picked up three points. We can relax a little bit. Uh, but yeah, something I, I mentioned there, Stockton, he had not scored in the league the since it started. You know, last time he scored a goal actually was all the way back in the NYPA defeat on the 3rd of February. So that's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He was on a ten-game goal drought, and bear in mind he'd started um, all but one of these games, I believe. Or in fact, no, I think he started all of the games. So as you can see, the minutes were clocking up, and it was getting worrying. And it it was playing on Stockton's confidence. I was actually being told by the press that I should probably drop Stockton because he's not scoring enough goals, and that's um, that's never encouraging, is it? When you get warnings like that, it's it always plays on your mind. That so it was good to see Stockton get underway, and I was hoping he'd push on in you know from that point and help us. Um, dominate because I feel Stockton is, is going to be key if we're going to want to push up these table. We need goals from somewhere. Currently, we just got players scoring here and there. Um, Matai Gallon's currently scoring majority of our goals. So we need Carl Stockton to get involved and start banging in and finding the back of the net. Following the victory, uh, we then lost 2-1 to so went back to losing ways. Uh, pretty fortunate for it to be 2-1. It could have easily been 3-1 with their penalty. But again, it was another performance where um, we had to take all our chances if we wanted to walk away with all three points and we didn't. Um, I say take all of our chances. We had 12 shots, but only four of them were on target. So we had to take all of our shots on target, even if we just want to walk away. Uh, but in the end, Honka, I, I probably would say, deserved a result yet again, despite the fact we had more of the possession and had maybe you know just a few less shots. We never really looked too threatening going forward. And again, I would say a lot of that relies on Cole Stockton. He needs to get on form soon for us to start pushing our way up the table and maybe challenging for Europe. Uh, KUPS, uh, Coops, I'm not too sure. Uh, we played them next in a 4-2 victory. This game was a lot more entertaining than our previous fixtures have been. Um, it was a little bit more open. Matthias uh, Gallen got lost on the way in the fifth minute. Uh, Cole Stockton got himself his second league goal of the season uh, to make it 2-0 up in the first 20 minutes of the match. And Cameron Bothwick Jackson got us to go on the 28th minute from a corner to give us a 3-0 lead at half time. So that was game over at that point. Also, I thought, uh, now at the hour mark, they got one back. And in the 79th minute, they gave themselves 11 minutes to try and push on and go for the victory. Despite the, the fact they got a man sent off in the 65th minute, they still managed to get that goal back. And at that point, I was quite worried because, you know, even down to 10 men, it's very easy for a team to get that one goal in the last minute. You know, it only takes a big ball forward. It only takes a set piece for them to get, you know, 3-3. So it was really important that we got ourselves a fourth goal to give ourselves... Uh, to reinsert that um, cushion that we originally gave ourselves, and David Ammo gave it to us. So, um, like I said, a bit of a hectic match, but we managed to get away uh, with the three points, uh, which is very important. After that, we played NYPA. We lost 1-0 to them. A um, narrow defeat, but it was another one of them performances where they got the goal early on, and we just didn't really threaten enough. So, at that point, NYPA could just sort of coast, you know. we Because we didn't threaten, they knew they were never really in danger of dropping any points. Then we got ourselves our first draw of the league season. We drew 2-2 to VPS. Uh, and uh, this game was over in the first 17 minutes of the match, first 20 minutes of the match, which uh, is a shame. Um, they scored in the 10th minute. We equalised. They then got another goal. Uh, then, well, sorry, then, we then took the lead before they equalised straight away from kickoff. So both of us took the lead. Both of us um, uh, got it back on level terms. So, you know, it was. It, but again, it was another game where... We didn't really offer much past that point. In fact, we only had three shots on target all game. So if anyone was going to win the game, it was always going to be VPS. And again, it illustrated on the highlights, it was always going to be VPS. And in fact, you look at the goal scorers, you know, it was Felipe uh, Coltro, who was a right back, oh, sorry, our left back, sorry, and uh, Cole Stockton. And you look at his performance coming into the game, 6.8. He, he didn't have a good game. He scored early on, but apart from that, he was pretty lackluster up front. He was really poor. So... Yeah, again, I would say we were fortunate to get a point there. Uh, to get yeah, to get a point there, but uh, very recently, our last away game before this update, we beat Lives, I believe it is one nil. Laurie Dalle Valley, uh, Dalla Valley, sorry, scored in the 69th minute. He came on as a sub for Cole Stockton, who was having a proper stinker out there and banged in the goal, uh, which made me take notice of him definitely. We did get a man sent off in the 76th minute, but we held out against Lives, who were really pushing towards the end. They're bottom of the table. They really needed a point. We were in just above them, basically. So 
this was a crunch match, basically. This was a crucial match for the bottom of the table. And we walked away with three points, which was perfect. You know, that's exactly what we needed. That's our last win of this update. And then in the last game before the update, we lost 2-1 to SJK. We took the lead with Cole Stockton, who had a better game today. But this time, defensively, we let ourselves down as we lost 2-1. Two goals in five minutes as well, costing us the game. And again, it was one of their matches where they didn't really offer much beyond the point they scored. But we had another not great performance from us in uh, in terms of going forward uh, you know we just didn't have the good opportunities we needed and this time I wouldn't really blame the attack I'd sort of blame the midfield the providers you know we, the opportunities we had were some were good but majority of them were poor when majority of them we, we you know we couldn't really break them down as a result 2-1 you know we, we lost so yeah the emphasis I really want to put on how the team is doing so far is it it's growing you know it's we've not got, we've not had any form yet you know, our form's been pretty, if anything, our form's been poor. Uh, but it's been stop, you know, stop start really, you know, three defeats in a row, which isn't good. But then win, loss, win, loss, you know, win, draw, loss, draw, win, loss. You know, it's it's just up, down, up, down right now. There's no form. We don't really, we're not really, you know, that team that lose. We're not really that team that wins yet. I feel, like I said, I feel this second third of the season coming up is going to be where we can determine what, how we're going to, or what we're aiming for come the final third. Now, the team itself, you know, it, it's it's all right. Like I said, we're not really performing well. Matai Gallon, to me, is our standout player so far. Without him, we wouldn't be where we currently are. He's the guy scoring the goals for us. He's the guy creating the goals. He's the guy putting in great performances when the rest of the team around him. Maybe you're not. So, and he's one of the players I didn't sign. So, Matai Gallon there is, um, like I said, currently my sort of a saviour. But uh, overall, the team has not played particularly badly. Um, Charlie Taylor struggled to adapt to the new league. That's something I've definitely noticed. And you, you as you saw that, you know, Cotro scored a goal earlier on. Um, and, you know, he actually had a little spell where he played for us, you know, started for us because Charlie Taylor just really wasn't good enough. And uh, even he wasn't particularly great. So <laughs> that's not good. Carl Stockton, as I mentioned, his performances have not been up to, sta up to the standard I would expect. You know, let's have a little look at his goal record. Four goals in 11 games, really, for a striker that I've, you know, in his past three seasons in League 1 and League 2, has scored 15-plus goals. It's going to be a push for him to make that this year. And that's that's not really acceptable. But, uh, yeah, we know we've had a few standout performers. Jamie Allen, as well, has been very good in the midfield. But then again, he is one of our best players, so I'd expect that from him. You know, I, for my better players, I expect their better performances. And Borthwick Jackson's been doing it. Our goalkeeper's been doing it to some extent. Um, Gallon has been doing it. Stockton hasn't. And I feel if Stockton does, and Arthur Worthy, Arthur, Arthur Worry, sorry, as well, um, if he comes in and starts putting in some solid performances alongside Borthwick Jackson, then we can be a force to be reckoned with. We really can. I don't see why not. I don't see why we have to limit ourselves to a mid-table team this year. We really can push on. As you can see as well, we're currently playing Jaro, who are third in the table. We're favourites. You know, HJK, we're not favourites, obviously. That's going to be a tough game. Uh, Inter, their favourite. FC Haka, we're favourites. See, you know, and these are teams that we've lost to earlier on in the season. These are teams above us in the table. So, yeah, overall, I'm, I'm pleasantly optimistic. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to be like, yeah, we're going to win the league this year. But I, I think we have a chance of pushing on from here. You know, I don't think we need to be aiming for as low as the board want us to. You know, just a little reminder here, if I go into boardroom and confidence. You know, they are currently uh, pleased that we are on, ta on task to reach a mid-table position like I said I would. I want to aim higher for that. And I know this club has the capability with the signings we've made to aim higher for that. So, uh, what can I go over? I don't think there's anything else I can really go over. I mean, in terms of me, nothing has exactly happened. I mean, I've just joined FC Lati, so there's no thought of going to another job even entered my mind. You know, that's completely out of the question. Uh, we're still studying for our national B license. Uh, still trying to get up that next step of the ladder. Um, like I, said, I, don't, I don't really think there's anything else I can, com I can really go over. You know, no interest yet. Uh, I guess I can br I briefly talk about international football. Have I spoken about it before? I can't quite remember. International football is not something that I'm really focusing on either right now. I think getting a break, trying to get a good team at club level will be the first priority. Then we'll sort of maybe think a little bit about international football. Uh, in fact, let's have a look at a little, little, little look at if there are any jobs available. Uh, I want to go on staff to do that, don't I? Yes. Uh, so job centre... There are currently no international jobs. Uh, then again, we are just in June. So, you know, if there were going to be any job, it would be after an international tournament, which typically take place uh, during the summer. In fact, England's job is very insecure. 
So that might be one. That's one I want to get in the future, England, but I can say right now, I don't think that's exactly a priority. So yeah, next time I will meet you back will be another 11 games into this league season. So that should get us somewhere around here, maybe against HJK again. Um, which, uh, three, six, nine, ten, eight, 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 eight. it'll be a, just after this, uh, SJK game. So, fingers are crossed that we can, like I said, really put in a good shift. We need to get the club playing well, need to get the players gelled. Tactic wise, how's its familiarity? It's pretty much there. So, you know, it's right now it's about getting the players gelled. The tactic is clicked. We just need the players to. So, yeah, until next time, guys, peace out.